Lesson 11.1b, Comparing Dot Plots Visually. We can visually compare two dot plots to each other by looking at their shapes, centers, and spreads. The shape, are the dot plots evenly spread out? Do the dots make a peak? For the center, are the dots centered around a particular number? For the spread, does one dot plot show a lesser or greater range of data values? But we need to be careful. We can't make assumptions from a dot plot for which no data is given. If this is a dot plot of minutes walking on a treadmill, we could say, if this was Dave's dot plot, we could say Dave made a dot plot to show how long he walked on a treadmill for one week. And we don't know the speed he walked or the calories he burned. We just know the minutes he walked on the treadmill. So. For one week, we've got seven data values, and we can see that one day he did 20 minutes, he did 30 minutes on two different days, 40 minutes on three different days, and one day he did 50 minutes. Now, he may have burned more calories walking at level three for 30 minutes than level one for 40 minutes. So we don't know how quickly he walked, the level he put the treadmill on, how many calories he burned, the distance. We don't know any of that. We only know the minutes. So here we have two dot plots. The dot plots show the number of customers and times they arrived to a hardware store. We can see these are the Saturday customers and how many customers arrived at what time. And here's the Sunday customers and how many arrived at what time. The shape of Saturday shows most arrived before noon. You can see there's more dots here before noon. On Sunday, most arrived after noon. The center, we can see for Saturday, the data is centered around 11 a.m. And for Sunday, the data is centered around 1 p.m. That's where most of the dots are. For the spread on Saturday, the spread is from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. For Sunday, the spread is from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. We can look at these two dot plots and see visually the difference between them. See how this one is leaning, the data values are leaning more to the left. This one's leaning more to the right. We can visually see what's going on. Now here we have three dot plots. These are the Saturday customers that we just used the Sunday customers that we just used, but now we have Monday. And if you look, there's more places for data values on Monday, isn't there? It goes to 7 p.m. So we can compare two dot plots even if they have different data values like this. See? So comparing Monday's customers to the weekend customers, here Saturday and Sunday's the weekend, the shape, well, the weekend customers arrive earlier. Look at it's before 2 p.m., it's before 3 p.m. We look at Monday, and majority of them are arriving 4 p.m. and later. For the center, on the weekend, most are midday. See, around 11, 12 o'clock, and this is around 12 or 1 o'clock, so that's around midday. But for Monday, most are the evening. The center is around 6 p.m., and the spread on the weekend is from 9 a.m., to 3 p.m. But on Monday, it's from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. We can see the shapes. This one is mostly to the left, and this one is mostly to the right, and this one is fairly even and then clusters around the right side. Now we can compare these two dot plots. Here's women's shoe sizes and men's shoe sizes. The dot plots show the shoe sizes and of the shoes purchased at a store. For the shape, well, women's, they're mostly smaller than size 9. Most of the data values are smaller than size 9. For the men's, most are smaller than size 12. We can see this is where most of them are, right? For the center, the women's, the data is centered around 7.5, 7 and, a half, seven and five tenths. And for the men's, the data is centered around 10 and a half, 10.5. For the spread, the women's, 
the spread is from size 6 to size 10. And for the men's, the spread is from size 9 to size 13. As a group, the men have larger shoe sizes than women. If we look at the shape of this, they have the same shape. These data values are different, aren't they? But the dots are in the same shape. So when we're visually comparing dot plots, we can look at the shape. For this one, it's mostly even. There's no tall peaks. And the center, well, that would be around four. And for the spread, that would be between two and seven. Now take a look at this dot plot. We can see that we have a data value here at 60. This dot plot represents the math test scores. Well, 60 is an outlier. It's a test score far from the others. And the data values make a cluster around 90. See how they're all clustered together? A cluster is a set of closely grouped data. You'll learn more about clusters in eighth grade. We've finished lesson 11.1b. We're going to move on to the last part of the lesson, comparing dot plots numerically. So not only can we analyze them and compare them visually, we can compare them numerically. I hope you're doing well and keep trying your best and join me for the next lesson. Bye.